Hi, I am Professor Himanshu Kumar from Indian Institute of Science Education and Research, Bhopal. I work at Laboratory of uh, Immunology and Infectious Disease Biology and I am doing research in uh, antiviral innate immunity using uh, uh, dengue virus, influenza virus and some other viruses. Uh, I am going to teach this course host pathogen interaction immunology and I would like to give you the highlights of this course. The course will uh, begin with uh, the immune organs. So, this immune organ is uh, basically consist of uh, here you can see the thymus, the bone marrow, spleen and there is a lymph node. Okay. So, these lymph nodes are a specialized immune organ and they are connected with uh, a duct which overall constitute a system which we call it as a lymphatic system. These lymphoid tissue or this uh, lymph node like tissues are present in our gut and we call it as a gut associated lymphoid tissues. These uh, lymphoid tissues are also present in mucosal uh, area and we call it as a mucosal associated lymphoid tissue which is predominantly present in respiratory tract, uh, gastrointestinal tract, urogenital tract. We will talk about uh, immune cells, various immune cells present in blood and we will talk about the immune cells which is present in tissues and immune organ. How these, these immune cells communicate with each other, they are basically producing a molecule which we call it as a cytokine, chemokine, lymphokine, interleukin and interferons. Okay. So, these are the molecules which is basically used by these immune cell in order to communicate with each other. Then I will discuss about the innate immunity which is also known as natural immunity or natural immune system which is consist of physical barrier. Here you can see there is a, a skin, there is a biochemical barrier which is consist of a acid in stomach the sweat or sebaceous in the skin and there is a lysozyme secreted in the tear in eyes. There is a microbial barrier which is basically consists of a microbiota present in our gut and it is also present in skin. The innate immune system is also consists of humoral component which is consists of antimicrobial protein or peptide. And there is a family of uh, protein which is we call it as a complement. Uh, we will discuss in great detail about the complements. And then we will move to the cellular component of innate immune system which is basically consist of all cells. And these cells expresses a pathogen sensor. There are family of pathogen sensor. We will discuss all those things. Then we will move to the adaptive immune system where we will discuss about the concept of antigen, the properties of antigen and B cell, B cell biology. We will discuss about antibody types and genetic basis of uh, antibody diversity. We will also discuss about the T cells and T cell biology and its role in immunity. You know that uh, this innate immune system basically communicate with adaptive immunity and uh, upon communication they develop an appropriate immune response in order to eliminate the pathogen. So, we will look at all those details. Finally, we will move to the host pathogen interaction. The pathogens are viruses, bacteria, fungi and parasites. In host virus interaction, we will basically look at influenza virus and we will also discuss about the arboviruses. These are viruses which is transported through the arthropods such as mosquito and you know these cause uh, various diseases which is inf caused by dengue virus, zika virus. We will discuss about uh, host bacteria interaction and over there we will take up tuberculosis as a model disease. We will discuss about the uh, host 
fungal infection which is mainly associated with immunocompromised individual and then we will talk about two diseases which is caused by fungus known as cryptococcus and aspargillosis. We will finally take up the host parasite interaction where we will discuss about malaria and African sleeping sickness. Overall, when you complete this course, you are able to understand how our defense system work and how our defense system uh, senses the array of microbial pathogen or macro pathogen and develop appropriate immune response in order to eliminate these pathogen. Thank you.